Hello friends, welcome to Alankar Pharmacy Classes again. In this video, I will explain about the contamination, the types of contamination and its control. So please be with me till the end of the video to understand the topic. So let's start. First of all, contamination according to WHO is defined as undesirable introduction of impurities of a chemical or microbiological nature or of foreign matter into or onto a starting material or intermediate or finished product during production, sampling, packaging or repackaging, storage or transportation. Contaminant can be any material in any form having detrimental effect on product or process. Contamination can be classified in different ways. Contamination can be classified into mix-up contamination and cross-contamination. Mix-up contamination is any accidental or unplanned combination of different types of compounds or mix-up of materials due to wrong identification by mistake, oversight or misinterpretation. Whereas cross-contamination according to WHO is defined as the contamination of a starting material, intermediate product or finished product during production, introduction of any unwanted material during manufacturing from some another process to next process is also termed as cross-contamination. Contamination can also be classified into functional contamination and nuisance contamination. In the functional contamination, the contaminants causing damaging effect on process or product. Whereas in the nuisance contamination, contaminants without any direct effect on the quality of process or product but may interfere in the identification of functional contaminants. Contamination can also be classified into physical contamination, chemical contamination and biological contamination. In the physical contamination, there is no detrimental effect on the chemical stability of the product. For example, fibrous material, hairs or chips from the tools of any equipment may not cause any chemical change in the product. Such kind of contamination is termed as physical contamination. Whereas in the case of chemical contamination, the contamination is caused due to mix-up of different chemicals, for example, the chemical residues of previous product kept in the container, if not cleaned properly, may contaminate the next product. Biological contamination can also be classified into two types. First one is the direct contamination and this kind of contamination can be because of the simply spread of the microorganism. For example, contamination by microorganisms due to defect in heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. Whereas in the case of cross-contamination, there is a spread of microorganisms indirectly. For example, improper sterilization of equipment. Contamination can be controlled by control of contamination in the manufacturing area or facilities and by control Controlling the contamination through people working there and by control of the contamination by cleaning and disinfection. In the case of manufacturing area or facilities, manufacturing premises, all surfaces for example floor, walls, ceilings etc. should be free from cracks or voids and the surfaces should be smooth to prevent the accumulation of dust and the growth of microorganism. The air supplied in the aseptic area should be maintained under positive differential pressure through HEPA filters to prevent particles and microorganisms to contaminate product or process. Only authorized people should be allowed to enter the manufacturing premises and should be through change area. The layout or design should be in such a way that the entry of rodents, animals, birds, insects inside the building will be prohibited. Damaged equipment in the manufacturing premises must be removed from manufacturing areas or covered and labeled for any accidental usage by operators. 
cleaning validation for equipment should be performed properly in the case of people the personnel should be trained to maintain the personal hygiene the personnel should report illness before entry into the premises and personnel should follow sop of cleaning washing and the changing procedures properly chewing drinking smoking and eating is strictly prohibited inside the premises there should be a minimum movement of the personnel inside the manufacturing premises and if it is required it should be gentle and steady the contamination can also be prevented or controlled by cleaning and disinfection A standard operating procedure of disinfection should be followed properly powders or liquids should be clean in such a way to minimize the risk of further contamination according to who cross contamination should be avoided by taking appropriate technical organizational measures for example carrying out production in dedicated and self contained area which may be required for products such as penicillins live vaccines live bacterial preparations and certain other biologicals and conducting campaign production separation in time followed by appropriate cleaning in accordance with a validated cleaning procedures Provide Provide appropriately designed air locks, pressure differentials, and air supply and extraction systems, minimizing the risk of contamination caused by recirculation or re-entry of untreated or insufficiently treated air. Wearing protective clothing where products or materials are handled using cleaning and decontamination procedures of known effectiveness, using a closed system in production, testing for residues. using cleanliness status labels on equipment so this is all with the today's topic hope all of you have liked this video so please do share with your colleagues who are in the search of this topic so thank you friends thank you